This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. There are still patches of green on our planet that evoke the wild magic of ancient jungles and forest. These relatively untouched places are precious, but often little known. The Makira Forest in the northeastern corner of Madagascar is one such place. Dr. Helen Crowley of the Wildlife Conservation Society and a team of local scientists Hello. have launched an expedition into this critically important biological hotspot. It is one of the largest remaining tracts of tropical rainforest in Madagascar, and it contains some of the highest levels of biodiversity in the world. The Makira Forest is one of the most important chunks of forest that's left in Madagascar. We need to understand more about this place. We need to understand a lot more about the biodiversity of this area. I'm pretty optimistic we're going to find some cool stuff. The team will travel by river. The Antalambalana River goes through the deepest, darkest part of Makira Forest where people don't go. And this area is so remote and so undiscovered that we're not sure exactly what's out there. But the first discovery they make is that just getting to the water is an expedition. Yeah, the last of our gear by Zebu Kart. Makira is protected by the Madagascar government, but like so many similar places around the world, the boundaries are poorly defined, and the island's growing population is pushing at its borders. What we're doing is heading towards one of the last big patches of rainforest that's left in Madagascar. Most of Madagascar has no forest. It's virtually all gone. Crowley's team is hoping to bypass a lot of Makira's remote and difficult terrain by rafting. But since no one knows the river, hoping is the best they can do. That's going to be like a steep, a steep area. <laughs> With an exuberant send-off from the locals. <laughs> the team heads downriver. Lush forest and wet environment have combined with geographic isolation to turn Madagascar into an evolutionary wonderland, flowing with species that are not found anywhere else on the planet. Well, we're finally on the Antanambalana River. It feels good. <laughs> Before even entering the heart of Makira, their first surprise. What are we hearing? Indri. Indri the, the, was the largest lima that we have left in Madagascar. And you can, can you hear it? Uh, yeah. It's terrific. It means we're really close to good forest. The team of scientists hopes their work here and their efforts to draw attention to one of the world's last wild places will help protect this important resource. Launching expeditions to publicize the importance of biological hotspots is a relatively new strategy for conservation groups, but it has proven results. Just a few years ago, Mike Fay, who is also from the Wildlife Conservation Society, spent 15 months trekking through the Congo, cataloging everything he saw. That expedition, known as the Megatransect, 
played a major role in the government of Gabon's decision to protect nearly 10% of its pristine land. There it is, Makira! But before this team can begin making the case to save the Makira forest, they need to get there. And a series of rapids and waterfalls, too dangerous to navigate, stands in their way. They will have to carry the boats over a mountain of dense forest. We had to cross over a massive waterfall that we couldn't take the boats. In fact, we couldn't even see what was below because it was in such a steep canyon. And um, we had to portage the boats uh, down through the forest on a steep trail that had just been cut. And uh, that took the porters three days to get those boats down. Down steep slopes and through riverbeds, the portage continues for two days. We were wet virtually all the time. We all have rotten feet. One of the physical hardships is the things that eat you in the rainforest. <laughs> Luckily in Madagascar, there aren't big things that are going to jump out of trees and eat you, but there are a lot of little nasties, leeches particularly. And it's certainly something you forget about when you're out in the world. And in the rainforest, you're just bait. Finally, they reach a portion of the river that is safe to travel by boat, though not exactly pleasant. With rain as its company, the expedition floats into the deepest part of Makira to begin uncovering its biological riches. For me, the accomplishment on the scientific side is still to come. But on the conservation side, we've accomplished a huge amount. In the next episode of Wild Chronicles, we'll rejoin the expedition as the team finds what they believe are new species of fish, plants, and animals, all of them under threat by an expanding human footprint. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.